Hi guys, it's Paul from Paul Doe Bushcraft again. Just come out for a quick uh, mooch around in one of my local woodlands. Um, I'm quite lucky where I live really, even though I live in a major city, you can go 20 minutes in either direction and you're either out in the country or at the coast or in the woods. It's, the, you know, um, there's so much sort of rural area around here, it's crazy, you're spoilt for choice. Um, so that's good from that perspective. So yeah, I've come out today for a quick bimble about and a mooch around and just do a short video on a piece of kit that I've just acquired um, that I'm going to be using on my short hikes which is the British Army General Service Respirator Haversack and the new MTP one so what I'll do is um, I'll empty it out and I'll give you a tour around and you can see you know the pockets inside and, and the sort of versatility of this what a fantastic piece of kit it is so stick with me guys right so let's get into some of the specs and what makes this such a fantastic piece of kit the bag itself is constructed from 1000 denier nylon corduroy, which makes it really abrasion resistant, water repellent and absolutely bomb proof. You know, military surplus kit is actually it's built to last and, and it does the job extremely well. It's simple, it's robust and it's cheap. It's fantastic stuff for bushcraft, you know, I can't say no more about that. You know, um, I love military surplus kit, I've got quite a lot of it. Um, one of the things you'll notice off the bat with this bag as compared to the old 95 pattern camouflage uh, green and brown haversack is the fact that the side pouches are much bigger and the reasons why the British Army have done this are long and complex and I won't go into them because I don't want to bore you but uh, from our bushcrafters point of view it makes it you know an absolute bonus because these pouches are massive and you can get loads in them uh, another good thing about this is the fact that they're molly so that means they'll detach and you can put bigger pouches on there you can put shot cord or paracord through so you can tie your tarp on or your waterproof you know it just makes it such a, a functional versatile expandable piece of kit um, so from my point of view that's just absolutely amazing these pouches themselves make fantastic belt pouches and um, if you were to put a first aid kit in one side and, and maybe a fire lighting kit in the other you can detach them and stick them on your belt and then that way you know you've got your essentials with you wherever you go so that, that's just another bonus the main bag itself has a huge velcro flap um, with a prestodon so you've got you know two ways of securing it down so you're not going to lose your kit it's very secure once it's fastened and we've got two elastic loops inside which are designed for carrying um, rubber gloves and things for the chemical suit but you could put a brew kit in there or you could fasten a small tarp or water trousers or something I mean, it just kind of keeps it out of the way there's two let's see if I can get this to show you inside there's actually two sleeves down the inside and um, I don't suppose that's very clear but there's a there's a long sleeve on this side that goes right the way down to the bottom of the bag which you know you can get quite a lot of stuff in that'll take a brew kit or maybe even get an arrow water bottle or something there and on this side it goes partially down and then it separates into three I'll get some photographs of these to show you later it's a bit clearer um, the three slots in the bottom there are ideal for putting things like folding saws and pen knives in, they're just the right size. So you could get a folding saw in and a, and a, a bushcraft knife and then maybe a, a mag light or a um, spoon knife fork, something like that down there. There's quite a lot of space in the main body of the actual bag itself. Now these zips on the front are designed to open up so that it makes it easy to get your, uh, your gas mask in. Now they don't actually really give you much more room because obviously the flap's got to fasten down so it's 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 kind of an expandable panel but it doesn't really expand a massive amount but not to worry because there's still loads of room inside the bag i mean i can get everything i need in here for a day hike and um you know and, and room for more as well so another good feature of the bag is the fact that on the back we have these molly belt loops and not only can you use them to carry it on a belt but also if you cut the stitching in the center of the bottom one and arrange it like that it's a fantastic axe carry loop get your axe in there that's a, that's just another added bonus and also something else I've discovered this little slot at the bottom here is for a leg strap when you get these just come with a leg strap so you can wear them round your shoulder and the strap on your leg stop and bouncing about but this strap will actually go through the small loop at the bottom and although it's not a very long strap, big guys like me might struggle with it. But those of you of a, of a smaller disposition or kids will find if you thread that strap through that loop there, 
through the bottom and then fasten it back up into the clip. It forms a kind of a rucksack and that's actually quite comfortable to wear on your back. Now I don't know whether that's part of the design, whether, whether they intended for you to do that with this thing, but I think that's like a quite little neat little addition. And um, I could see this being really useful for guys who have got kids who want to get into bushcraft. Um, you know, just a little backpack to keep bits and bobs in. And these are really cheap, really cheap. Considering the build quality and, and you know the amount of work that must go into them to make them, you can pick these up dirt cheap on eBay um, in brand new condition. So for kids, they're a fantastic little bit kid. So there we are, guys. Short and sweet, but hopefully that's kind of giving you an idea of what this bag's about. Um, I'll put some pictures up of the sort of gear that I've brought out in it today. I've not fully decided what I'm going to carry in it for day hikes, but I just thought I'd throw some gear in so I could have a brew. And um, you can see sort of what, what goes in it, what fits and, and what it'll take. So thank you guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.